Tonight, we're hearing from one of the women who says a La Jolla restaurant owner drugged her drink and raped her. At least eight women have come forward accusing Daniel Dorado of assault or attempted assault. 10 News reporter Nate Holmes was in court as prosecutors laid out the formula they say he used to prey on his victims. Trying to figure out what happened. That's the voice of one of Daniel Dorado's accusers. The judge ordered us to hide her face, but she says most of the night was a blur. She can only remember a few brief moments after meeting Dorado at his restaurant, then joining him at a nearby bar. All I remember is a big long bar and I remember a pink drink, which I remember because I would never normally order that. The accuser says she woke up the next day in her hotel room with her clothes inside out, a black eye, and her glasses broken. Because I knew I had to call the police. And why did you know that you had to call the police? Because I knew something happened. Prosecutors say Dorado targeted vulnerable women as his victims. A common trend, they say the restaurant owner offered the women either a pink drink or wine that caused them to black out. Daniel Dorado didn't just have a pattern. Four of the women met Dorado on job interviews. The others accepted dates after meeting online. Prosecutors say they often woke up to Dorado engaging in various forms of sex with them, many times at his La Jolla restaurant, Voce Del Mar. Dorado's defense team says every encounter was consensual. It's not illegal to invite someone up to your hotel room. It is not illegal to ask for sex. The cases were reported from 2009 to January of 2018. Nate Holmes, 10 News.